So the last app I'm going to show you is Square Ready Pro. So let's have a look. So press the icon. Now this is a photo that I've prepared earlier and this is John from the State Library in Western Australia and I'm going to take you through the steps uh, to create a photo that looks like this. So the first thing you do is uh, press the folder and look for the photo that you want to uh, frame and there's the photo of John there. Now have a look at the photo and see if it uh, is what you want. I'm going to uh, just resize it. You can do that by uh, using your fingers on the screen to resize and I'm quite happy with that, getting rid of some of the roof and then if you press the scissors in the middle of the screen that will easy crop it. So I've done that. So there's less roof now. Um, I might just play with a little bit more. Go crop again. Now I've reframed it. So next I'm going to uh, choose uh, a size that has a lot more white space around it. So I'm going to choose this last one here with the rectangle in it. I like that. So then uh, what I want to do next is uh, add some effects. So then I just press the effects button over here and the first thing I'm going to do is add a drop shadow so if I press the drop shadow button here which is the one on the uh, right hand side and then I'll choose the top drop shadow and you can see that it's added a drop shadow the next thing I'm going to do is add a, a border or a frame. So over on the uh, left hand side I'm going to choose the border uh, button and then I like the rectangular border so select rectangle and you can see that it's uh, transparent. I want to make that uh, opaque so if I press the little grid here that looks like a, a air conditioning grid um, it brings up some wheels. Now these wheels can be used to uh, change the side size of the effects. So I'm going to choose the uh, right hand wheel which changes the color and uh, of the frame and you can see now that it's opaque and then if I press anywhere on the photo it gets rid of those wheels. Now I really like that. Um, I like the framing, um, I like the border so what I can do is save it uh, to camera roll uh, so I have it for the future and then the next thing I can do is actually share it directly from uh, Square Ready Pro into Instagram choose the size and there we have it so then uh, without applying any of the Instagram uh, filters just choose next and then uh, write a caption Uh, and then you can select options for where you'd like to share it. Um, I often share things to Tumblr, that's where my blog is, and I have auto posts set up so it can share other places, or you can share directly to Twitter, Flickr, Facebook, uh, wherever you choose. And then to share it, you just uh, press the share button. And there you go photo of John from the State Library of Western Australia with a lovely frame.